Okay, so here's a chunk of XML file. I couldn't find the one that generates the part of our website that we were looking at because for good reason, those things aren't usually public. So you wouldn't really want somebody to have access to your data, right? Like you might let them look at the data, but the way they look at the data is through an HTML file. So you could always kind of know at least part of what's in the data, but you wouldn't want people what you wouldn't want people to know like what products are coming up or what sales might be happening or uh, which products you've discontinued or stuff like that. So the data is usually hidden in the background and usually it's not accessible. Sometimes you can guess an XML file name. And if somebody hasn't been paying attention when they set privacy settings on their web server, sometimes you can see them, but I couldn't find the one for Go Columbia, even though I assumed the privacy settings were probably jacked. If you did happen to guess a name, it would look like whatever the website is and then slash file name dot XML, right? So this is an example from the W3, uh, which is the World Wide Web. And then that's usually the W3C. So that's the World Wide Web Consortium, which is the group that kind of tries to make standards for web use. So this is an XML file, right? And what this thing is, is it starts with a big tag that says, this thing is a catalog, right? And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will find a, and that's the end of the catalog down here. And then in the catalog, this one is kind of a dorky one. This is just plants, right? So there's a common, so there's a plant, sorry. And then a plant has some bits to it, right? It's got a common name. It's got a botanical name. It's got a zone. It's got a light. It's got a price. And it's got an availability. So if we were doing database stuff, we would call this thing an entity. And then each of these would be attributes. The analogy that we've seen in the uh, in processing, be this would be an instance of an object, right? Right. So a plant, the idea of a plant would be kind of a class, right? And then this is one of those things. So this is an object, and it would have variables, right, associated to it. Those are the attributes. That would be like common name equals blood root, and botanical name equals whatever the heck you say that, and zone equals four, and so on and so on, right? So you guys are kind of used to doing something with this. This is just a different format for that. And the XML is now the kind of, it's been around for 20 years, and it's sort of the standard way to store data that's going to be parsed by a website of some kind. This is part of why SQL injection attacks aren't so much a thing anymore. People usually use their SQL server to generate an XML file that is then pass to the web server. So the SQL server isn't connected anymore directly to the website. So you can't do that crap where you type in a colon and then a drop table and some stuff, right? You guys see that? Okay.